project I started with Ashland Decorative Filler. It's a crushed reflective glass that I picked up at Michael's. It comes in a smaller container and sometimes they come in bags. And I took the stained glass soft blue Krylon spray paint and sprayed the glass. But I really wanted this more of this blue green color and this coastal pumpkin that I had made yesterday. So I took the blue glass that I had painted or sprayed and took the Krylon stained glass color summer green and sprayed it with that. And it ended up turning out almost identical to the pumpkin I had uh, put on YouTube yesterday. So I was really happy with the color. The great thing about using the Krylon translucent spray paints is the reflective glass does not lose its reflective qualities when it's sprayed. Next I printed out a picture of a pumpkin. This is the same pumpkin I've been using in my other videos and it was under free clip art. I cut it out and instead of using the pumpkin I used the outline just so that I had a little outline to place the glass and then I placed all the glass in it and then I removed the outline. Next, I took full strength Mod Podge and painted it on the very bottom and then took some crushed shells that I had picked up at Michael's and put that on the bottom. Then I took some regular shells and put those along the bottom and I believe I put a little bit of full strength Mod Podge on the back of those before I laid them down. Next, I took Mod Podge half strength, so one part Mod Podge to one part water, and mixed it together inside of a measuring cup. I placed it up on two cups so that the canvas does not stick to the paper below it, and then I put some paper towels around it just to catch any drips. Then I saturated the glass on the pumpkin and then over all the crushed shells and I let that sit there for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then I came back and I just started tipping it and brushing the Mod Podge into the canvas. Now this Mod Podge is gloss Mod Podge and you'll get a nice finish on your canvas if you use the gloss Mod Podge. And I just kept on tipping it every which way and held it in that position for a minute and just kept on brushing it on and this does take a couple minutes to complete and then just kind of catch the drips at the bottom and like I said turn it every which way and then after that I started um, using full strength Mod Podge and gluing a lot of the other pieces down. Now it'll only take a couple minutes for the Mod Podge on the canvas to dry but the actual Mod Podge on the glass can take up to three days to dry. I did Mod Podge on glass Christmas tree. If you look back at my videos, it's really cool. And um, you could see from the back the drying process. That's how I know it takes a three to four days for it to completely dry. And I put a couple of these, I believe they call them tendrils, the twirly things that on the pumpkins. I guess they're part of the vines and um, you can use anything though I just happened to have those on hand so I put those on. Hey everyone so this is my Mod Podge Coastal Pumpkin and after I turned the camera off what I did was I took this um, deco color it's a silver metallic marker and I went along kind of the edges and just kind of to uh, define it a little bit like you would with a pumpkin if you were painting it. And I don't know if it uh, makes it look better or worse. I kind of think it makes it look nice. And it's the same sparkly silver because it's metallic. It's the same sparkly silver as in the uh, glass. And I've said before that when you use Mod Podge, it's in your best interest to use glass that has like a little shimmer or sparkle. And this um, Ashland Decorative Filler is the perfect glass to use. And you can um, color it, you know, with the different uh, translucent spray paints. And I did a video uh, at the very beginning, um, when I, about a year ago, and then also a few weeks back about the different uh, spray paints. And this one I used, actually used two to come up with this real pretty color. So um, <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to sh show you was what I what this originally was before I put that on there. 
and I had picked up three of these boards at a garage sale, and I think it was three for a dollar. Um, and they're, I don't know what they are. They're, they're plastic or faux wood or, or what, but they're super, super light. And this one actually has a crack in it, but um, I was able to use the other two by just painting over it. So, um, you know, you have to kind of sometimes think outside the box. You don't necessarily have to um, go out and buy a brand new canvas to do artwork on. You can probably look around your house and find something that you're not using anymore and use that. But um, I think this turned out real cute and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm gonna show you how strong it is. I actually ended up re-gluing this uh, yesterday because I went like that and that came off. The larger pieces, you really have to glue down with something more substantial. I mean, you can use the Mod Podge, but you would have to use the full strength Mod Podge. And um, <clears throat> even though um, after a day, this looks dry on the front, like I've said before that, um, in the back or on the bottom, which of course you can't see on, when you're doing it on canvas, but on glass, I did the Christmas tree on glass uh, last year, and you could see it from the back, the actual drying process. So um, that's how I know it takes three to four days to completely dry. So you just kind of have to leave it alone for three or four days. So anyway, I'm gonna show you, I'll turn the <laughs> camera down and show you how strong, this is on here solid. I don't know if any of these other things are gonna fall off, but. Oh, a couple of the little sparkles fell off, but um, it's really on there rock solid. Can you see? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did give it a thumbs up, that helps the channel. I'm gonna be putting out a bunch of um, holiday videos, you know, like pumpkins and Christmas trees and something for Thanksgiving, which I have to think of, and Halloween and all that good stuff. And um, so if you wanna be notified when a new video comes out, go ahead and subscribe and you'll be notified. Or just if you like the channel, subscribe. <laughs> and I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching.